Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, we're using our LDTV camera to take a look at my Rotbringers army. It, check the liner notes for some comments on points, because I don't like talking about points. I think that's one of the great things about Age of Sigmar. And so here they are uh, in all their festering glory. Let's take a look first at this Harbinger of Decay. While in the, ori the original model is a guy on a horse, and he's a wizard. But in Age of Sigmar, he's actually a martial hero with decent combat abilities and a command ability. So, uh, and basically he can bestow uh, the equivalent of a feel no pain 5 up, which is very powerful. And in fact, once you stack up all the things this army can get, they become very, very hard to kill. So this is a conversion I did with green stuff and the extras from the Magoth Lord kit, which you see here. I've already done videos on these, so I'm not going to go into them in depth, but you haven't seen this guy yet. So he has the spellcaster. I've modified his arm to go up. Actually, did I show these? Well, anyway. So, now one thing, if you have a model like this that has legs that are really kind of at odd angles and contact points, or they're very spiky like a Tyranid, you're going to want to think about doing a peg on them. So you just put like a, a dowel in the bottom, and you make the whole thing depend on that. This guy really is just floating above this base on the dowel. And then you can adjust the legs, and I actually built up the base a little bit to reinforce the dowel and also uh, built it up a little bit so this leg would actually be on something rather than in the air. In fact, he only has one leg in the air, and that's the, uh, the left front leg right here. So I think this guy is really cool. He's going to look really great uh, when he's painted up. Now this is a... I, can't, I don't know what the model's called, but I, I think it's called a Plague Sorcerer by Avatars of War. I ordered it off of eBay. And I've added, obviously, some plastics to it. I did the scythe. The scythe is a combination of three pieces from the various kits. But when he was holding it upright like a staff, it just seemed odd. So I gently bent his arm back till he was resting it on his shoulder. And it gave him kind of this slumped over, uh, I don't know, like lounging sort of look. And I, I think it goes well with the model. And on the back, we have a whole bunch of venom thrope tentacles. I think that's one of my artists texting me that they are here for turn-in. So I think that's going to be good. So here's Gut Rot Spume. You've seen him. Let's take a look at some of these other conversions I did. Uh, there are 12 out of the 20 Blight Kings have bells of some kind on them and can stand for musicians. And seven of them have some kind of banner-like object on them, like this guy right here. This is actually from a 40k kit, and I just, it has like stuff, like little dribble, gooey snot things coming off, and I angled those to be straight up and down with the ground. And every single guy here is converted somehow. Each and every one of these could be a centerpiece hero of an army, and indeed, in the game, they're tree, they, they are sort of like half hero types. Uh, they're very, very durable. So anyway, this guy, for example, has the banner of a Plague Bears unit. A couple bells in there to reinforce it. Has a bell. I took off the, uh, like the little zombified head he has dangling there and put a bell on. Uh, let's take a look. This guy really hasn't been modified very much. He also, he's got bells. I put this little spike thing on him. That's from like a scimitar piece. I don't know if you can see that very well right there on his uh, right shoulder pad. Uh, this guy, you know, I gave him two axes. He's really cool. This is actually one of my favorite figures. Really cool looking stuff. Uh, there's a guy in here, there he is. He's got a, ta a mutated tail busting through his britches that's also held, holding a belt. If anything, this guy probably is the least like outrageous of all the figures. So uh, that guy's pretty cool. You'll excuse me if the light seems really weird. I may have just missed the golden hour. And a uh, guy with two swords. Now this guy here, he has a lot going on. He's got an ogre, rat ogre tail, like a tentacle coming out there. This is a uh, ogre kingdom's shield fist thing that I drilled holes into to make it look like it was all pitted out. Skaven banner is his... 
uh, back flap there, the back part of his tabard. And I love this helmet where it has the one horn with the bells on it. So the, the bells are like a really cool feature of this army. All right, uh, let's just do one more because you're going to see these guys painted too. So this guy has venom throat tentacles coming out of his gut there, which is really cool. And this, I do believe, is from the giant kid. So he, like, he beats people up with this skull, this skeleton in a cage. Let's see what he looks like from behind. There you go. And again, I've added some bells from the Empire Flagellants uh, kit to give that some reinforcement. And he is, it is sort of like micro-attached to his... Uh, shoulder pad so well there you go guys oh and I also have some plague toads a client was kind enough to get these for me and I think that was really nice and uh, so anyway yeah plague toads pretty cool huh mm -hmm. and just a little conversion here I didn't really like the horn that he had but I do like that horn I thought of making a giant tongue coming out of here but I think I'm just gonna leave it and I was, I was looking for 50 millimeter bases for these guys because I thought the 60s would be too big, but they are not too big. And you can find, if you go to the Forge World site, you can find the download for all the points values for the Tamarcon book, which is where the Plague Toads and the Pox Riders. Pox Riders are when there's a Plague Bear on these guys. So these guys are demons. They're not Nurgle mortals like the rest of these. Uh, but I am going to use them as uh, beasts of Nurgle. 